All right, so we're here at the arcade today because I want to do a video about converting a Tempest from, well, actually any vector game from LCD to regular standard CGA. So as we can see, we have a fully working Tempest here. Uh, the original uh, Wells Gardner 6100 that was in here, the tube got necked, so it was a goner. And of course, there's no way to simply just go online and find a vector monitor. I mean, the CGA monitors are a dime a dozen. Even as rare as they are, they're still pretty much a dime a dozen. But as far as a vector monitor, uh, yeah, good luck. Uh, the, the people out there who have them aren't going to let them go for any decent price. Uh, so just being able to find a vector monitor is pretty much darn near impossible unless you want to pay out the wazoo. Like I say, those who have them, who might have an extra one, are certainly probably not going to want to get rid of them or sell it. So, for this instance, I was able to get one of the uh, first runs of the Vector VGA that converts the Vector graphics to VGA. As you can see, I have an LCD in here, and it is working perfectly fine with no issues. If we look inside here, we have the Vector VGA with the VGA input, I'm sorry, the uh, Vector input being converted to VGA out running to the LCD. So the idea here is that let's say you've got a vector game, whether it's Tempest or Star Wars or Major Havoc or uh, what else is out there? Um, I forget here off the moment, but you got a vector game, uh, Star Wars, did I mention that? I forget. Anyway, you got a vector game and it works, but there's no monitor. Uh, your, your current monitor is either dead, uh, you can't fix it, you can't find anyone to fix it. There are people out there that can do it, but uh, you don't want to deal with the hassle or you're missing the monitor completely or it's broken or for whatever reason you are unable to acquire or work on or fix or get a working vector monitor. Ideally you would just find a VGA CRT, but 19 inch VGA CRTs are pretty rare unless you steal one out of a Mega Touch or something like that. Uh, but then you're going to sacrifice the Mega Touch, which I'm sure you probably think, well, sacrificing a Mega Touch for a vector game, there's no loss, love lost there. But let's just say, for some instance, in this particular example, you cannot acquire a CGA monitor, I'm sorry, a VGA monitor, I meant to say CRT, or a vector monitor. There's nothing you can do, you have no options. So in this case, you have a spare, let's say you have a spare 15 kilohertz standard res CGA monitor. Uh, you can acquire yourself the Vector VGA. The first runs are long gone, and the company that makes these is actually in the midst of doing a second run, and I was able to snag a second one of these. So I already had one. I snagged the second one uh, just in case this one goes down or I need a spare. So uh, this is the original one that I got a couple of years ago. But anyway, so it's very simple. You plug in the connector that originally plugged into your vector monitor, uh, and then it has the output of the VGA that runs to your LCD. But in this instance, we're going to be using the output of this to go to a VGA to CGA converter. So this converts the vector input to VGA, and the VGA goes into this converter, which converts it to CGA, which then goes out to your CGA monitor. And as you can see, I have it all hooked up with a, with a proper connector and everything. So this is a fully rebuilt, adjusted, working K4900. Uh, 4900, sorry. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to disconnect this, which goes to the current LCD. I'm going to plug in this connector, which goes to our CGA converter right here. And that's already plugged in and running. And the monitor, I have an isolation transformer mounted to the right side of the frame, so we can just simply plug this in. Actually, let me show you here. Uh, I'm going to have to turn this light off. You can see the monitor has significant screen burns, so it's a perfect candidate to go behind this tinted plexiglass. So I need to turn this light off. Let's see if I can manage this. Uh, it won't let me do it. Hang on one second. Okay, there we go, got the light off. All right, so now uh, we will simply plug the monitor in and magic shall happen. There you go. And it works and looks fairly good. It's not perfect <laughs> by any means. You know, it's being downscaled from the vector to uh, CGA. I think it's 640 by 480. But, I mean, the true test will be to get it behind the plexi and see what it looks like behind the plexi. But in a perfect world, you would just get a 
VGA 19 inch CRT and throw it in there. But again, if you not if you don't have that option and you have an extra one of these laying around, you can get yourself the Vector VGA converter and then the CGA to, VGA to CGA, those two converters, and you'd be in business. So again, it's not perfect, but for what it is, it's not that bad. It's pretty darn sharp. Pretty darn sharp, quite honestly. It's actually a lot better than I expected it to be. Everyone was saying, oh, it's gonna look like crap, it's gonna look like crap. Well, I don't disagree, but for what this is, it's not bad. Look how, it's just, even for what it is, it's pretty darn clear. So I don't think you'd, you'd be, uh, I'd be hard pressed to find anybody that disagrees with, this is not bad for what, what it is. So what we need to do now is I need to get it behind the Plexi, get the monitor actually installed and all hooked up properly and get it behind the Plexi and see how it looks behind the Plexi because right now I have the brightness adjusted as high as it will go before the background is no longer black. Like if I barely touch the brightness pot, I, I, you can see the white uh, border, so the white raster. So I, uh, it's, it's adjusted to the perfect place that it needs to be before it's too much. I got too close, there we go. So that looks actually pretty good for what it is. I'm not gonna complain one bit. So in an emergency, if you can't get yourself a proper monitor, you can throw a 15 inch standard res CG monitor in your vector game via the vector VGA converter and the VGA to CGA converter. I turned the light off, sorry, here. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Of course, this is just sitting here, but I need to figure out a way to wire in the monitor, um, I can just tap into the 115 uh, right off the power supplier, what's going up to the uh, marquee, whatever I want to do, because it has the isolation transformer mounted to the right, just right to the side of the frame there. So, yeah, I'm going to get this all installed to a, a proper uh, venue here, get it all looking nice and good and, and wired up and installed. And then we'll check out and see what it looks like behind the tinted plexi. So, here we go. Well, and just like that, our 19 inch standard res CGA K4900 is installed. I have relocated the isolation transformer from the frame down to the uh, shelf there, nice and secure. And I relocated the switching power supply to above the original power supply there because the wires for the uh, CGA converter there were a bit too short, so I relocated that. Got it all wired up and secure and uh, tied up and cable managed and the vector VGA is right there and I ripped the sticker a bit, but no big deal. So we're all hooked up and ready to go. Uh, and everything is done. So let's go ahead and turn the power on here and everything comes on. And there you have it. Amazing. It's not that bad. So of course you can see the screen burn, but this was this uh, I picked this too because it was a perfect candidate to go behind the, the tinted plexi. And if you look here, it really is just not that bad. I keep saying that, but it really isn't. Everybody was skeptical, oh, it'll look like garbage, it'll look like garbage. Well, granted, it doesn't look that great, but it does look pretty darn good for what it is. So, yeah, I think uh, this will suffice just fine. Let's see what it looks like with the tinted plexi installed. This may be a bit difficult here. The one hand I gotta try and do this with. Yeah, there you go. Let me uh, hit the light here. Let's give it a. Yeah. say that uh, oh, I'll kill me here I gotta say this is a pretty darn good turnout for my personal uh, opinion so if you have uh, if you're in dire straits and all you have is a regular standard res CGA and you want to put it in your uh, vector game you absolutely can and it'll work and look pretty good Still pretty sharp. 
yeah, I say this is a, in my opinion, this is a winner. Some of the lines are a bit distorted, but yeah, for what it is, it's far and away above my expectation. So, yeah, I, my light's over there, sorry. So there we have it, a vector game running on a standard res CGA monitor. So thanks for watching. I have another project here. Let's take a trip up front. Let's take a trip up front here. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of you guys haven't seen the arcade here, but in case you haven't, it's a general overview. Got about a hundred machines, and there's a bunch more on that side, but up front here, uh, Zaxxon and Missile Command and Namco Football and Mega Touch, and over here I have a Tubin, and this has a LCD in it as well. And the next video on the channel, I'm going to convert a medium res to standard res. I'm going to basically do the same thing. I'm going to put a standard res monitor in here. I'm going to use an EGA to VGA converter and then a VGA to CGA converter. Basically, I'm, I'm going to use two converters like I just used in the Tempest there to convert the medium res to VGA via the converter and then from the VGA to CGA to, on the different converter, and that will allow me to use a standard res monitor in this tubin. And for the next video, we're gonna see how that turns out, and if that's possible, and if it is, what it looks like, and if it looks anywhere fairly decent, like uh, the Tempest turned out, I think uh, we can make that work. I just want to avoid, uh, I, we have 100 machines, and I've only got, only two of them have a VGA monitor in it, and I'd like to have, I'd like to have 100% CGA. If I have to sacrifice a little bit of, of uh, resolution, to have 100% CGA monitors, I will do that. So anyway, that's next on the channel. It's converting this back to uh, a CRT. I don't have a 19 inch medium res monitor and just like the vector monitors, they're a bit harder to come by than, I got a whole crap load of CGA monitors. I just don't have any EGA monitors. So I'm in the same boat with this as I was with the uh, Tempest, but this would make 100% uh, uh, CRTs in all of our games. So, yeah, that's about it. So, let's go check on our uh, Tempest again. Now let's go this way so you can see the, these other games over here. Uh, over here we got Frogger and Rally X and Q-Bird and Bump and Jump and Burger Time and Galaxian and Track and Field and... Yep, all the fighting games, Tekken 3, Street Fighter 2. MVC, MK4, MK3, MK2, MK1, KI2, KI1, uh, and all the Williams games that we've got, uh, the Taito, Taito, however you want to call it, uh, Contra, Pole Position Working, been working, believe it or not, original Rampage, and of course some racing games, and uh, oh, these have LCDs, but racing games don't count because they actually look, you know, better on LCD than CRT, but that's a matter of opinion. So I said 100%, but I'm not counting the racing games. I'm sure you can forgive me on that. Uh, but we do have an original 19-inch CRT in the APB uh, and uh, a Carnival uh, conversion, Maximum Force, Revolution X-T2, Operation Thunderbolt, Turtles X-Men, uh, Gauntlet Legends, NBA Jam, uh, Marquis signed by Sal DeVita and Kerry Hoskins, um, Spy Hunter, Dig Dug, and Paperboy has its original 19 inch medium res. Um, yeah, uh, Battle Toes is, is a favorite here. So, yep. Uh, Final Fight and Altered Beast and Devil Dragon. 
1943, Blitz 2000. It's got a regular Blitz marquee with Blitz 99 side art, and it's running 2000. So, versus Super Mario Brothers, uh, Asteroids, Tetris. Uh, I think that's about it. So, yep, all right. And we're still running and looking great. So, I gotta say, yep, pretty good turnout. I'll live with it any day of the week. Am I gonna stay? I'll stay, yeah. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video where I try and get that, uh, oh, that uh, tubin. So the tubin video signal is gonna go into this, and then the output of this is gonna go to another one of these, and then we're gonna output straight to CGA just like this. So the, the idea of that is to get at least a CRT back in the game. So, yep, successful uh, attempt at this. I think it's a good turnout. And I'm going to keep it like this. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video, and we'll see you then.